Three ball off the way. Good. Caroline. We love transfers. It's the makeup of who we are now. Um, we have a national identity of being a place that transfers want to come to. Porter, slam dunk in the foul! The transfer philosophy really started uh, with some of the NBA background I had. Jazz right side attacks, slashing from the wing, up and in off the window for Jazz. In traffic. I looked at freshmen as kind of being like draft picks, and I looked at transfers as being NBA free agents. 15 to shoot, Cody Love to the rim, Caleb slam dunk! A lot of guys have turned Nevada into a stepping stone for their next step at the pro level. Whenever players transfer, it doesn't happen because they're having an abundance of success. It meant that there was something that wasn't as good as they felt it should be for them and, and for their circumstance. And that's quite a leap of faith to come across a continent. For a lot of transfers, it's their second chance and last chance. And because of that, they do have something to prove. And you know, you, you can go all the way down the list when you got Cody and Caleb Martin. They had good careers, solid careers at NC State, but now they blossomed into stars. Caleb fires a three, dead on. <laughs> so our approach with Caleb and Cody was really simple. We knew that basically every high major was going after Caleb Hart. I didn't really care what they were saying about my game because like, I know how I am. Like, I'm just hoop, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we could tell when people were talking to us, they were a little bit more interested in me than they were him. But they thought they were just like, oh, we'll get, we want him, we want Caleb, but we'll deal with Cody. But I'm like, we want Cody and Caleb, you know what I'm saying? Not Caleb and then a little bit of Cody. So I said, you know what? We're going after Cody hard. And hopefully, by the love we show Cody and the plan we show Cody, Caleb's gonna go, hey man, I'm good. Everybody already knows I'm a scorer and can be a star. These guys believe in my brother, and they're laying out a plan for how my brother can be a star. Pass in front is stolen by Cody. Cody slammed up. They were seeing Cody as a player that I saw that he could be, you know? And they weren't just, you know, just giving us phony predictions where like, hey, Caleb, you, you, you know, you can average 25 and, you know, leave after the first year and be player of the year first year you get here. Being transparent is everything, and I think anybody who really I feel like wants to get better, it will invite that, you know, and that's something that Coach has been like since we got here, and I think everybody and their mama can tell that he's like that. Let's go sub in, play a different position. There is no mystery about what Eric Musselman is doing in this program, how he runs the program, what the expectations are. It's really important for all of our sit-out year guys, and we actually call it the development year uh, instead of a sit-out year or a transfer year. Uh, we think it truly is a year to develop their game, uh, both on the floor and off the floor. They stick with their regimen of academics, individual player development, on-court stuff, as well as the weight room stuff. Down fast, up fast. Yes, sir. Good. Nice, JT. He looks for transfers to come in and, and have an immediate impact on his program. We call them skill development guys. So they get a year to spend with us, um, not only from the basketball side, but in my opinion, the biggest year of their life happens right in here. And understanding the, the work ethic that they have to build to, to even be able to get in the mix with Coach Moss. I like to pride myself as a hard worker, but as I got here, I understood guys work out in the morning. They work out before practice, they stay for an hour after practice, a daily basis, you know, and not just one or two guys, the entire team, you know, so that right there, I was like, wow. Right there, good. We didn't really do too much winning at my last school. I played well, though, so uh, having to learn from Cody, Caleb, and the rest of the guys, uh, just kind of winning habits. I think the development year guys are as important to our program as anyone. Um, they're more important than what's out there in the recruiting world because they're here and they're under our umbrella. We understand he has each of one hour back off the court as well as on the court, you know, so it makes playing hard for a guy like that even more, you know, even more easier. And he's extremely, extremely excited when it comes to games. So he's one of the coaches where it's like, if you can't play hard for him, then you can't play hard for anyone. 
The sit-outs are very, very important. I mean, you look at our team this year, we lose six seniors. So what they do is going to become very important because they're the people that are going to have to come in and establish our culture when our new recruits come in. And it's very important that they're taking care of business and doing what they have to do on the front end and getting better while we're not here and holding themselves accountable. The sit-outs are incredibly important to us. They're our scout team for every team we play against. When the sit-outs are ready to play for next year, you know, it, we all been playing against each other, playing with each other so much that, you know, we can gel quick and keep it going. It's really hard to sit out a full year at their age and not play any competitive basketball, and so it's important uh, for them to feel wanted, for them to feel loved, for them to feel a part of this thing. We really do have a, a different kind of bond than I've had before. We're around each other 24-7. We hurt together, we work hard together, we have fun together, we do everything together. Our bond is pretty special because every time those guys are gone, it's just us. So we spend a lot of time in the gym, we spend a lot of time in the weight room together, and then we'll hang out on the weekends when the guys are gone. So like it's only building chemistry for next year.